When it has been years since anyone's heard anything but static and white noise on the radio, who could still believe we are not alone on this earth? My wife, my comrades from the Order, my friends, people from my station. Nobody believes me. They are sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that save for us who hid in Moscow Metro, there were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet, and in the Metro it's common knowledge. But I did hear that call on the radio with my own ears. Yes, it was immediately drawn out by the static, but I had heard it. Which means that somewhere out there, under the skies, there's still a habitable place. We're not doomed to live the rest of our lives underground. Still, nobody believes me. Just traitors. 
We are honest to God enemy saboteurs! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress Faces. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air! And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Do you have you ever heard of the Attention. Invisible Attention. Watchers? Peace Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 18111 79. Area 18-5. Where is that number supposed to be? Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 18-5. So it is somewhere around here. The Yamantown Mountain. So the route from here should go. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. <laughs> Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 ah 
It's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, huh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell. There's a bomb. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. Ha <laughs> Let's trick to the yeah. Aurora! <sighs> hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead! Hi! Uh, full oh, steam yeah. ahead! Wow, oh, uh, that's yeah, some I distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, Scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Rose anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. 
How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Sound the alarm! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! That pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup. No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. Let's go, Artyom. A full day at least. I see. I get to it then. Spartans. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta well, say, that was one flimsy luck, roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. <laughs> Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> What was that? Could you check it out? I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go.
to the dock. Get, Get over here when you're done. done. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. So please keep your witness. Sisters, 
The heretic is trapped, for so will the Lord. Soon our brother's militant will be here. Come and on! The Lord's justice will be done. Let them kick Katya and her spawn out too. She summoned the heretics with her spells. Oh, Mama, it's him! The man from the train! He's here to save us! I can't believe this. I had all but lost hope. We're not from here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Our job, she's right. Get to the boat. We'll rest her later. Don't worry. Mommy, Mommy's gonna keep you safe. So, where is that heretic? He came by boat during the tournament. And then what? Well, he didn't keep there and then he kind of disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what father said. Tell me if you saw where he went. I see. All right, God bless you. And I will go. Come on, you dirty spawn of Satan! Come on! Protect me from you, man. No, I would it. It would get my body if I died. Nasty lie to you. We didn't kill anybody. Her father, he went to fight a demon and died. Tell him, Kuzma. Yes, he went after a demon. And we have many orphans like her here, so please let us be. Go, please. So, brethren, have you found the heretic? Look, I feel I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Seen the heretic sister? So you have seen him?
Back him up. Don't, don't. Just keep calm now. That's it. I give up. Don't shoot. For it is the peacemaker who shall be saved. Quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. Huge! The old man took me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And holy shit, you did not disappoint.
so dumb. I should have landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we had gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here, that's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others... They have relatives there. Maybe. It's been ten years, but... I could still be alive. Anyways... We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well... We'll have to live and see about that. Here's Artyom, back from the Thank You're you for alive. the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any Artyom, you should talk to but the But we haven't really first, been to any important places. Here. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now, but still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau, from the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge.